What's up everybody? This is your boy Kerwin Stewart here again today with another exciting video. And today's October 26, 2018. And if you know what that means, that means that Red Dead Redemption is finally out on the PlayStation and Xbox 360 Xbox One actually. Not Xbox 360, my bad. But anyways, roll the intro. Now with the game coming out, the first thing I need to do is actually go to the PX and purchase it. Uh, the PX is similar to basically like our Walmart for the military members and they have it there from what I know. So I'm just going to go over there and purchase it and then have to come back and play it. But I'm really excited. Uh, I've been waiting close to five years for this. So let's go. Let's uh, go pick up the game. So here it is, Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox 360. Still going around, uh, still got a lot more shopping to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then after, go purchase it and go home and play the game. That's it, too easy. Now I think it's safe to say that the guys at Rockstar Games have done it again. They have provided a product that I think that's gonna be playable for a very, very long time. That being said, the only thing left to really do is play it. But uh, in all similar fashion, we're gonna open up this box and uh, we're gonna make you hear it in ASMR fashion. Sorry about that. It seems like everybody's doing that ASMR stuff these days. But other than that, let's get straight into the case. In the case, you're gonna have one disc. One disc that's gonna probably download around to like 70%. And then after that, you're going to need to turn around and use the disc that's disc number two in order to download the other percent of the game um, in order to have a complete download on your console in order to play the game in general. So this game has two discs due to the size of the game. All right. So now inside of the inside of the uh, the case is a map and a downloadable code uh, for some fun little things that I'm probably going to look at later. So, without further ado, actually, a three hour, three hour download time, a three gig a byte update, and now the game is ready to be played. So without further ado, I introduce you guys the first 30 minutes of Red Dead Redemption.
Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. OK. Uh, uh. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. It's been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here.
lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Ah. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Hey! Hey! Why are you riding like an idiot? <laughs> yep. This, Micah. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table. I've said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh, there. Okay. Let's head down there. Pitch up here. <laughs> Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Hey, give me that! Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. 
Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. Oh, I hear you. Just... and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some There's a body of food in the wagon. Or I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking.
Meet me out here when you're done. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. An old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. Bring that horse when you're done. Whoa. Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... 
Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. 